Welcome to Accounting Information Systems. Hi, my name is Dr. Annette Moultrie. In this video, we will discuss part one of chapter four, Information Technology and Accounting Information Systems. But before I start, please click the subscribe button below. In chapter four, you should be able to describe why information technology is important to accounting information systems and why accountants should know about this technology. Two, explain why computer processor speeds are not particularly important to most accounting information systems. Three, identify source documents and explain why they are important to accounting information systems. Four, List some common accounting information system uses for point of sale, magnetic ink character recognition, media, and optical character recognition. Five, explain in general terms the value of secondary storage devices to accounting information systems. Six, summarize why data communications are important to accounting information systems. Seven, describe some advantages of client server computing. Eight, explain the advantages and disadvantages of cloud computing. However, in part one of this video, the importance of information technology to accountants and input devices are discussed. Although it may be tempting to dismiss information technology as more important to computer people than accountants, this would be a mistake. And there are several reasons. One reason for information technology importance is because information technology must be compatible with and support the other components of an accounting information system. For example, to automate the accounting system of a dry cleaning business, the owners will have to consider what tasks they'll want their system to accomplish, identify what software package or packages can perform these tasks, and perhaps evaluate several different computer hardware configurations that might support these packages. A second reason why information technology is important is because accounting professionals often help clients make hardware and software purchases. For example, large expenditures on computer systems must be cost justified. A third reason why information technology is important to accountants is because auditors must evaluate computerized systems. Today, it is no longer possible for auditors to treat a computer as a black box and audit around it. Auditors must, again, auditors must audit through or with a computer. They have to audit through or with a computer. The fourth reason why information technology is important to accountants is they are often asked to evaluate the efficiency and effectiveness of an existing system. But the fifth reason why information technology is important to accountants is that information technology profoundly affects the way they work today and will work in the future. This includes um, new ways of gathering and recording information, new types of systems that accountants will use, new types of hardware, new types of software, and computer networks upon which these systems will run and new ways to audit these systems. And the final reason why information technology is important to accountants is because, the, because understanding how um, information technology affects accounting system is vital to passing most accounting certification examinations. Uh, for example, um, in some sections of the uh, CPA and CMA exams, um, there are questions about information technology. 
So it's important for accountants to, to know this information. Now the next slide will actually have um, um, top, the top 10 information technologies uh, for 2014, according to the AEICPA. Now, every year, the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, they conduct a voluntary um, annual survey of its members to identify the top 10 information system technologies that affect the study and the practice of accounting. And here you see there's a list um, for the United States and Canada uh, for 2014. And this is the 2014 uh, list. And as you see, number one um, ranking for both the United States and Canada is securing the informa information technology environment. Uh, number two is managing and retaining data. Number three, managing information technology risk and compliance. Four, ensuring privacy. Uh, five, enabling decision support and analytics. Uh, the next slide will have the other five. Uh, number six, managing systems implementations. Um, you will notice that the results for the two countries are identical for this survey. The top technology in both countries is securing the information technology environment. The next slide, we'll discuss input devices. The starting point of the input processing output cycle, especially when processing accounting data is input. Um, even where the amount of data is small, most accounting information systems require input methods and procedures that ensure complete, accurate, timely, and cost-effective ways of gathering and inputting accounting data. Now, usually there are several ways of capturing accounting data. So system designers, they, they must pick those input procedures and devices that best meet those uh, systems objectives. The uh, starting point for collecting accounting data in most accounting information system is a source document. Um, and an, a manual example of a source document would include you know, time cards, uh, packing slips, uh, patient intake forms, purchase invoices. Uh, these are just some of the manual examples. Now, the computerized examples are, um, for instance, your the airline reservation screens, uh, the bank deposit screens, and web-based customer order forms. And because most of the information required by retailers can be captured at the checkout counter, some businesses now commonly use what we call a POS device. And that POS device, it gathers and records pertinent data electronically at that time. Um, one example is the barcode readers that interpret the, uh, the UPC, the Universal Pro, uh, Product Code. Um, it's commonly printed on supermarket and, and variety stores items, the UPC code. The magnetic ink character recognition, recognition the MICR, uh, refers to the, those odd-looking numbers and symbols that you see um, on the bottom of bank checks. And the next screen, you'll see a, a copy, an example of a bank check. These are the numbers that we're talking about here, which is the AB uh, routing number, you have the account number, and then uh, the check number. Now, although checks are not used often in our society, but we, whether we use them or not, those um, numbers, ABA numbers, are there. Now, these numbers and symbols were created by the American National Standards Institute. And one advantage of the MICR standard is that it is machine readable by any bank which allows um, the individual to write checks anywhere in the United States or Canada. Another advantage is that the MICR coding is both machine readable and human readable. Yet there's a third advantage, and that is the coding is quite flexible, allowing banks to use documents of varying, various sizes, uh, thickness, or, or width. Um, the 
the next slide will talk about the uh, OCR, the optical character recognition. Um, it uses optical rather than magnetic. And then readers, um, they interpret the data found on source documents. Now, the typical OCR device use light sensing mechanisms and laser technology to perform the character recognition function required to interpret the recorded data. Mark sense media, such as the type used in com computerized exams, use simple rectangles or ovals as characters that you black in with a pencil or click on the, um, on the device. Accounting uses um, OCR uh, include the billing statements of um, utility companies. Uh, it can include uh, payment slips of credit card companies um, and renewable forms of magazine subscriptions. Also, your credit card or your debit card has a magnetic strip attached to one side of the, of the card. And that magnetic strip contains a lot of information. It contains pertinent information. And it, therefore, it provides input data when required. Um, the mag strip stores information for users, for example, uh, that mag strip can contain the, car, the credit card number, uh, a hotel room security code, or security clearance code for an employee. Now, many specialized devices now help users um, input data to computer systems. Uh, keyboards are perhaps the most common. Uh, com computer mice. Uh, you have your touchpads, your joysticks, and similar devices enable users to control a screen cursor and create graphic image um, or select items from display menus. Touchscreen, such as you know, those on your cell phones or on a computer tablet, it enables users to make menu choices simply by touching a display screen with a finger or a stick. Uh, computer pens or styluses, they permit users to enter data, data on a video screen. Another type of input device is the digital video cameras. Uh, digital video input includes digital cameras, camcorders, webcams, and similar devices. Now, although many people only use such devices in recreational settings, accountants also use them for, one, documenting inventories. Um, they could use it to um, uh, check on the damages to vehicles or offices due to an accident. They can use um, these digital videos for um, uh, new or existing employees for identification and security purposes. There, there are so many, so many uses uh, for the digital video uh, input device. Now, with the biometric scanners, the uh, biometric scanners authenticate users based on who they are. Behavioral systems recognize signatures, voices, or keystroke dynamics. The physiological systems recognize fingerprints, uh, retinas, uh, faces, or even ears. Now, most of these devices connect directly to computer USB ports or are integrated into computer keyboards or cell phones. Now, two of the most common biometric systems use fingerprint or iris scanners to authenticate uh, users. So we've talked about um, why the um, information technology is important to accountants and we discuss the input devices. Here you'll see this is uh, references and copyright. The content for this video is taken from the book 
entitled Core Concepts of Accounting Information Systems. The authors are Mark Simpson, Simkin, Simkin Carolyn Norman, Jacob Rose. Uh, the publisher is Wally and Son. In part two, we will discuss the, the uh, CPU or the central processing units, uh, the output devices and secondary storage devices. If you haven't already, uh, please click the subscribe button below. Again, please click the subscribe button below. Thank you for joining me in this video. Stay tuned for part two.